everybody, what's up? Welcome to the Planetary Poll, and this is the books for August the 13th, 2014. I'm your host, H, and with me today is Billy. What's up, man? Hey, guys. How you been? Uh, been kind of good. Good week. You know, looking forward to, you know, my comics. Cool. So, well, we're going we gonna to dive right in, because um, some of us got, got, got a small pile of stuff, you know, but yeah. you, know, you don't have any soul, so it doesn't matter. So, since, since it you, helps me. You know, like how can I stay loyal to Marvel and DC for so long because I actually you did have a soul? You have none, yeah. so it does not matter to you. They burned it out of me years ago, a couple of crises ago. Yeah. <sighs> All right, this is my first book. Mm -hmm. All right, right now you can just ignore Original Sin. <laughs> this is just Amazing Spider-Man number five. This had like no crossover reference to original sin whatsoever but you know what if it sells a few more copies go for it you know what because i'm actually a big fan of this series um this is actually a pretty good issue uh not one of my favorite but i like the direction where it's going um it's interesting so yeah two spider-man books in two weeks all right good man good man i'm gl glad to see you hang in there so my first pick actually is going to be Princess Ugg from Oni uh, Press. Yeah, it's a good book. Princess Ugg. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about um, a young barbarian girl. Um, first of all, let me let me give you the artist's name. Um, Ted Nathan. I hope I'm pronouncing it right. I'm probably butchering it. I'm sorry, but um, comes highly recommended. Matter of fact, um, my fellow podcast mate Elle, she recommended it to me, and I said, okay, I'll try it out. So this is issue number three, and it's about a young barbarian girl who goes off to school to learn how to be a proper woman. This particular issue deals with her learning more about what she needs to replace her mom. Her, her mother was a war queen and, you know, fought other tribes for a long time, but before her mother passed, she told um, uh, that you're going to take my place okay. and I want you to aspire for peace. So she's busy talking to one of the staff in this book who tells her, well, if you want to do like what your mother wants you to do, you need to learn diplomacy. Right. And if you're going to learn diplomacy, the first thing you have to learn is humility. And starting off, get to know your roommate a little bit better. Stop fighting with her and, 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 and learn how to become friends with her. So. We see that in this book, and um, it's, it's a very good story. Like I said, it's only three issues in. Throne Press. Gotta check this out. All right, well, like I said, uh, I'm rarely reading anything with a female lead, so... We, we, we want you to regain your soul back. All right. One step it, in I, I would appreciate it. I would right. appreciate it, because if I go and edit this one day, and I feel like I'm talking to myself, and there's a, um, a non-corporeal voice because you've dissolved, I know what happened. Heck, I am surprised that I even show up on camera. What's your next pick, man? <laughs> All right, this is actually going to Injustice, Year 2, Issue 9. All right, I have so much to say. This is actually the best book that DC is putting out right now, by far. If you would have told me a while ago that my favorite book would be a comic, meaning a video game tie-in, mm -hmm. I would just look at you like you're crazy. But no, Injustice is awesome. Like, if you're a fan of Superman being, like, you know, hardcore and not like, you know, pushover, then injustice is for you. But you you got Doomsday. Yeah. No? No, I, no to Doomsday? No, no. Best thing about Injustice is it's an Elseworld story. Mm hmm Actually it's a half that, Elseworld that's half the best part. <laughs> uh yeah, Elseworld. Where um actually alternate dimension. Okay. Big difference. I will explain it in detail another day. But the fact is, they're not tied by editorial restrictions, so characters can drop off like that. You know, it's like, oh, you're a big character, yeah, you just got killed. So, so what, so, are, we, what are we looking forward to in this particular issue? Alright, uh, in year two, Superman and his new regime is finally going up against the Green Lantern Corps. <laughs> and in this issue, the Green Lantern Corps shows up in force. Meaning Mogo, the living planet, shows up and Stop playing. yeah, good times. Mm. Mm. <sighs> um, 
do we do we get any kind of resolution at the end, or is it to be continued? Or what's uh, going on? It's a continuing series. Yeah. But you know, like you said, if you like I said, it ties into the video game. If you play the video game, you kind of knows where it's going. But it's not about where it's going; it's about how it gets there. Okay. That's the joy of injustice. All in in the journey. Um, All right. So you have. My second pick, believe it or not, is going to be Matt Fraction's Sex Criminals number seven. Are right, you gonna have to tell me a little bit about Sex Criminals? <laughs> I, th I think she said Sex Criminals is awesome. <laughs> okay, it's awesome sauce. Uh, you know what? From the very first I would love issue, somebody to hear this out of context. Sex Criminals are awesome. Yeah, no, it, it is. is. It, 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 Oh Matt, Matt, come, come, come on over here. Come on over here and get on camera. That's a, that's a we're, we're, we're dragging customers in no, I didn't there. know that. Harry. How you doing? What's your name? Zuli. Zuli, I'm Harry. This is Billy. Welcome Hi. to the Planetary Pool. We just, like I said, we're just dragging customers in and off the street. So, school him on sex criminals. Woo. Ah, man, get back over sex here. Criminals. Sex criminals is really good. Like, when I read it, the big pull for me, like, right off the first issue, A, the comedy. Like, mm -hmm. the comedy is so good. It's okay. spot on. It's like, it's not trying too hard. It's very, like, effortless, you know? So, it goes well with, like, the uncomfortable subject matter of sex also, because it can and be very discovering awkward. Okay. Sex, yeah. It does it in a very classy way, you know? Classy, okay. Yeah. Sex criminal. Classy book. It, it is. is. It is. It talks about it in a very relatable, approachable way. Like everyone like like you know, it goes through the backstories of the two main characters and how they kinda like had their like what their first experience was, like their sexual awakening, but in a very, like I said, like there's <laughs> okay. comedy and of course the twist of it, you know, which, the <laughs> twist of it is when they get to that point, they can stop time. Time. That's the, that's the, yes. Yes, that, that's where yes. the criminals part kicks in. <laughs> and okay. like, I think, I think they even put it on the back of one of the issues where I think Matt was in emailing uh, Chip, the artist, and he was like, or, or the other way around, they were like, he was like, dude, what if we made a comic book where when like, you know, when the characters came, they stopped time, he's like, bet, yeah. let's do it. Like, and, and they're doing and bam, it. bam, sex like, is it, like, is it where they... Just with each other or on their own. You know, you know what? No, 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 yeah. When they're on their on own, their own or with each other. Just when they do that. Yeah. But but the but the kick is, especially with this issue, what what's been happening is Wait, wait, does don't so there's two people that they're the a couple. two main characters, yeah, they're Do a they couple. freeze each other or No, they're no. the only ones that can stay with oh. each other in that. Oh dude, that's so but embarrassing. Guess but that's, guess what? This dude. particular issue See, we find out that there are others. Yeah, right. Well, can't figure that once the sex police came, right? Okay, you know, yeah, no, spoiling no, stuff though, so. I, actually, so no, no, how wait, wait. awkward would it be if you're just at home chilling and you're watching TV, then time all of a sudden I freeze, think you're too and you're like, oh, I know what you're up to. You gotta, no. you gotta like, like I'm going to go to the bathroom real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Two there's minutes a, later, time a really freezes. Good story Come on. in here. You gotta focus on yeah. the characters and everything else besides mm. outside just the first word of the t of the name of the series, which is sex. Like you gotta like just gotta go with it. Go. You gotta embrace it. You gotta kind of like stop making it the big thing that it is. Like, oh, kinda, it's it, seven know, issues, so it's not. It's hopefully, not it's like, about something else. It's not like it's the whole like thing. I mean, it is. Well, it's well, not, well, you know well, well the, other, the other part of it too is both of them realize the kinds of things that they can get into when time freezes and they get into a bit of trouble. Yeah. But then not only that. Now, now getting back to this issue in particular. Mm -hmm. John actually talks about his early experiences in school and the things that he could do such as, you know, because he was really into his photography. Mm -hmm. So other aspects of his life stopped. Not only that, um, Susie decides to tell one of her friends about it and then to prove it to her friend. Her friend was like, I want you to do X, Y, and Z. So Susie does something and before, I mean, literally it's just a panel. She's like, okay, well, dang, you could have told me something. <laughs> but... Honestly, you know, if, if you get past the, uh, you know, honestly, if you get past whatever hangups you have, yeah. and check yeah. this out, it's really it's an excellent. Really good. Well, like you just book. accused really. me earlier of not having a soul. <laughs> yeah. Now I have hangups. <laughs> You're a soulless so, yeah. individual with hangups. With, with sexual hangups. Embrace yeah. the yes. weird. Like, you know, that's yeah. like, I feel like that's what comics is about in a way. You gotta embrace the weird, man. Yeah. You gotta man. just embrace it. It's yeah, fiction, man. you know? It's good fiction. It is. Okay. I believe y'all. So, this is Sex Criminals. And. It's okay. Let's see, let me just throw two more out there real quick. <laughs> um, I'm going to throw out Star Wars. This is Jason Aaron's last book with Dark Horses. This is Dark Horses' last ongoing 
last Star Wars. Oh yeah, I was figuring how long could this possibly last. Oh no, 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 no. And it's not because it's bad. Remember, uh, Marvel. No, because Marvel is on my... Marvel by... is reverting back. Okay. And uh, Mark Wade, Jason Aaron, and I cannot remember who the other person is. They're going to be starting up the new books come um, this fall. Wait, so, well, under what production? Because now that Star Wars is owned by Disney, which owns Marvel. It's under Marvel. Right, Marvel. it's, it's okay. going to be under the Marvel banner. So right. I would definitely grab Star Wars when that comes out. Original Sin, a lot of yippity yap, a lot of talking. Ugh. Thor all of a sudden can't lift his hammer. Crossovers. I don't, I don't want to say why, but, but for some odd reason, Thor will not be able to pick up his hammer after this issue. You need to check it out. Outside of that... Ladies and gentlemen, you need to stop on over here to Big Planet over in College Park. Um, there's going to be a nice little party the night before uh, Small Press Expo. Ooh. So there's going to be a signing. What's the date again, somebody? September 12th. September, September the 12th. 12th. Yeah. Come on through. Check them out. Also, this particular weekend, we are having Video Gamers United um, Con over at the Convention Center. Come on over. Check them out. Give them some love. It's their first time doing it. Um, other than that, you got anything else you want to put out there real quick? No, uh, no, like I said, Otacon was this past weekend, didn't go myself, I went but I heard, through. you know, <laughs> I heard it was interesting. It, it was, was interesting, big, you know? as always, I went through. Um, outside of that, um, you need to come also check us out over at popcultureuncovered.com, new website where we talk about everything from gaming to comics to movie to television. Uh, just give us a look up, but definitely please stop through Big Planet Comics. Give these guys some love. I'm your host, H. I'm Billy. We're out.